Hey friends, it's just about seven o'clock p.m. Um, Central Time. It's Sunday night, and we're getting ready to get this whole 60 day challenge kicked off. So uh, I know a lot of you have questions and you have um, been posting about them. You've been adding your friends to the group and I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys. So um, this is my husband, Paul. Some of you have met him in person or in other videos. Um, Paul and I have been married for how many years? 24 years. It's a quiz. What's this year? 25. 25. This is our 20. Hey, baby. Our oldest daughter's watching. Um, this is our 25th anniversary year. So I, I plan on celebrating all year long. I keep, I keep warning him. Um, so September is our actual um, anniversary month. Um, we live in central Alabama and we have raised two beautiful daughters, one of which is watching live. She's married. And then we have our youngest daughter who's in college away, um, in Georgia. So we're empty nesters and it's kind of fun, isn't it? <laughs> We've enjoyed, um, our time alone, but we also enjoy our family. We had a great time over the holidays. I hope you guys did too. We kind of indulged a lot, didn't we? Ate way too much. We got this new thing called a Blackstone griddle. And if you don't have one, you need to get one. And, or not. Huh? Or not. Or not. No, we're going to have some really good healthy recipes on what to do on the Blackstone. Do, doesn't we mean, haven't started healthy on the Blackstone yet. <laughs> we had stir fry this week. Remember? Cabbage That's and still onions and carbs. peppers. No. Tons of carbs. We're not They're killing right. carbs. Ah. He's been asking me for months, let's do something. I've gained weight. We need to do something. But he wants to do all this meat and fat and no vegetables. And I'm like, no. No, I don't want to do that. I just don't think it's balanced enough. I mean, if you're doing that, you do you. But I crave vegetables. So um, we were just talking about different things to do and couldn't agree on anything. And, um, you know, the whole new year came around and um, we found this book. So I want to tell you a little bit about the book and also who Dr. Zelensky is. Um, he goes by Dr. Z. He's the author of the book with his wife, Sabrina, and she goes by Mama Z. And I have been following them for three or four months now, back in October when I was researching some breast health issues and stuff to talk about on the podcast in October. Um, I was, I came across Dr. Z and his wife and they actually sponsored this woman who had breast cancer and she had gone the traditional route and nothing was working and, uh, or it was not, she wasn't tolerating it very well. And so, um, they sponsored her to spend one year taking alternative medicine procedures for her breast cancer. And they made a movie about it. And I've posted it in the groups. I've posted it on my timeline. If you haven't seen that, you really should. But that was my first taste of that, of those two people. I just thought, man, those, that's amazing that they sponsored that sweet lady to go through. And she's cancer free right now. Praise the Lord. Um, speaking of Dr. Z and, and Sabrina are fellow Christians. So that's cool too. Um, one of the things I love about following them is that they often use scripture and biblical principles in what they're teaching. So, um, I signed up and got on their mailing list for their emails and I get a lot of emails, but they're all really good. They have, um, a regular newsletter that comes out. They have Facebook groups. Um, and I'm in a couple of those. I will tell you that Dr. Zelensky is not young living. He's actually unbranded. Um, he is, he doesn't choose an oil, <laughs> an oil brand. He is um, a chiropractor. That's why he's a doctor. He's a chiropractor. He's a licensed aromatherapist. He's got some other accolades that you can look up on your own. Um, and they have together, they have a platform called natural family living, I believe is the name of it. Um, but anyway, they have several websites. The um, link that I have shared in our group and on my timeline and uh, on my Instagram and also in this post takes you to their website for this study. It's the Essential Oil Diet book. And when you register there, if you bought your book at Amazon or 
like me, I found mine at, um, tr what's that? CR Trading. Mm -hmm. We were in Michigan um, right before Christmas, um, and we were shopping. I don't know if you've ever been to a CR Trading, but we're TJ Maxx fans, and that is their sports store. We don't have them around here, so we always try to go there. But I got my book there. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, but so wherever you got your book, you still need to go over to that website and get registered. The reason why is he has, he and um, Sabrina have done videos like shopping tours, um, recipe, uh, how to's, demonstrations, just tons of information for you. Um, and you will have access to it when you register your name and email address and you'll get their um, mailing list as well. And it's really good. Um, so throughout this book, and let me just kind of hold this up. This is the essential oils diet. I have the printed version. Um, it's about 400 pages and I have the audible. It's about 350. I have the audible version too, because I love being able to listen to stuff as I'm be bopping around town or traveling or just doing things around the house and I can put in my earbuds and listen to the book. So I've done both and I'm enjoying it immensely. Um, I will say because Dr. Zelensky is not branded, there are products that we have at Young Living that I'm going to be interweaving um, into these things that we're talking about throughout this program. Um, for example, I've already posted the essential water recipe. That is so yummy. It's very good. It is really good. And they add electrolyte powder that you just buy on Amazon. And I looked at the ingredients of that and, and thought, oh my goodness, our, my, our amino wise is fantastic for this recipe. So I altered the recipe and put that in there. Now, I've already had some questions we've answered about the stevia. Um, that recipe calls for liquid stevia because it's an emulsifier. So who in here has ever put your essential oils in your water glass? What do they do? They rise up and float, right? So an emulsifier, when you put the, the liquid stevia in the container first, and then you add the oils on top of it as per the directions, that the oils will kind of get emulsified into the liquid stevia. Then when you pour in the water, it won't be floating on top as much as if you were not using liquid stevia. Trust me, there's hardly any sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. I think more sweetness comes from the amino wise than from the liquid stevia. So make that. Um, I started drinking it yesterday. Mm -hmm. We've, we've finished a whole gallon already. And I can tell I've been visiting the bathroom more because it's just like a diuretic. You really have to go flush. So um, I've noticed I'm getting some little pimples here and there on my skin, on my face. Um, and I think that's a sign of detox, which is good. What you're going to see throughout this book and this challenge is essential oils woven through it. Just like in that essential water recipe, you're going to see oils in food recipes. You're going to see oils in um, fat burning type recipes. I love some of these. I've never even heard of some of these methods of using oils, but I'm super stoked about it. Like today we were reading one called quit sticks and it's basically where you take the recipe, which has a lot of black pepper and some other oils in it and a carrier oil and you soak toothpicks in them and then you lay them out and let them dry. But, when you are craving something, you take one of those toothpicks and you just suck on it. And it's designed for people who are trying to quit smoking because black pepper is a great oil to quit smoking, but it can help you um, with cessation of any kind of um, addiction. So um, that's just one of the recipes that's in the book. There's just tons of them in there. There's over 80 food recipes and a lot of essential oil recipes too. Um, I was reading about a wrap like an oil blend that you put on your skin and you wrap with muslin and you wrap with cellophane and then you sleep with that on certain body parts if you're trying to reduce inches. A little bit about Sabrina, his wife, uh, Mama Z. She recently won Mrs. Georgia and competed in the Mrs. U.S. pageant 
and came in first in swimsuit and second overall. So she's had four babies. And so speaking of and that. I think she's 40. So it's not like she's a yeah, spring chicken either. They're not as young as you would think with four young children. But um, she actually shares a lot of her post um, baby recipes, like from nursing and being able to tone up and tone the skin and all of those things. It's in the book too. You guys, when I started reading this book and I, I was realizing starting at chapter one, I mean, <laughs> I would tell you, we're going to do this diet. And he would say, well, what can we have? And what can't we have? Didn't you? Oh yeah. You're like, and I'm like, I ain't got there yet. I ain't got there yet. And he keeps saying, you know, as you're reading the book, he says, I know you're waiting to where we get to the part that, you know, this is what we're going to eat or what we're not going to eat. But there's so many um, things that he covers that are really um, foundation, foundational in what we do with this essential lifestyle. Um, some of the things that we learned back in 2012 and 2013, like what it, why would you eat organic and why are you avoiding GMOs and about the toxins in our water and the toxins in our personal care products. And no matter where you are on that journey, this book is going to bring you up to speed. Like we don't have to have a class on all of those things. It's going to cover that. And then when you start getting close to chapter five, then you actually get into what this meal plan is going to look like. So this 60 day challenge, we're starting it tomorrow. And I know a lot of you do not have your book yet. And that's totally fine. You start when you can. I'm kind of glad that we're starting before some of you because I want to live this out because I'm doing it with you, but I want to be able to answer your questions and I can only do that effectively if I've lived it out. So if I'm living it out, maybe three or four days to a week ahead of you guys, then I think we'll have more insight on what your questions may be as you come along. So um, always refer to, to the book because a lot of the questions are answered in there. I know, I know I don't like to slow down and read sometimes. That's why I have it on audible as well, but really read the book, listen to the book. If you get the audible, but really dig into that get yourself registered on that website and download some of those PDFs and those um, things that he has that goes along with it. So I'm going to read to you just a little bit from the end of chapter four and the beginning of chapter five, because this is where I know y'all are like, okay, what are we doing? What are we going to eat? What can't we eat? What's the deal? So at the end of chapter four on page 92, it says, where should you start? And it says the next chapter addresses the essential fast track to determine whether to start in this phase or go directly to the essential lifestyle in chapter seven, ask yourself the following questions. Number one, are you looking to lose weight? Yeah. Yep. Start with the fast track. Are you pleased with your current weight or need to put on a few pounds? Some people do. I run into people that need to put on weight. Turn to page 135 and begin with the essential lifestyle. Okay, so you won't start this where I'm starting it and where Paul's starting it. Um, do you have some gastrointestinal issues? You might benefit from beginning with the fast track to uncover whether certain foods are aggravating your condition. Now, you guys know, if you know me, and I think most of you do, I do Zytoscans and I do a whole lot of scanning with people to find out like what's going on with them. And I see a lot of um, gut issues. Like everybody I sit down and do a Zyto balance scan with has gut issues. Everybody that walks into our naturopathic doctor's office, D. Bojwan, has a gut issue. A lot of them is leaky gut, um, candida issues. Um, a, a lot of them have adrenal fatigue. And I can tell you, I sit down with everybody and I'm like, okay, let's talk about food. And this book covers that. It's like if I could just give this book to everybody in the whole wide world and know that they're going to read it and apply it, we would all be so much healthier because, you know, America is the most overweight, overmedicated, depressed, anxious, all of those, suicide, all these things. And you guys, a lot of that is related to the gut. It sure is. So. All right, so in chapter five, 
This is the 30 day fast track. This is where we're starting. I think this is where the majority of you guys are going to start. It's strict. Think boot camp. Okay. It is strict, but we're going to do it. Absolutely. Philippians 4.13 says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So that's what we're clinging to. Now, the very top of this chapter says, it's a quote from Nadia Comaneci. Um, I don't run away from a challenge because I'm afraid. Instead, I run towards it because the only way to escape fear is to trample it beneath your foot. All right. So it says, here we go. Time to put into practice everything we've been talking about. And that includes beginning to build new habits that will morph into your transformation. I love that. So being young living, what oil blend would go great for your emotions right now? How about transformation? How about valor? Some of these powerful emotional blends, believe. Lots of things that we can use that doc, Dr. Zelensky is not talking about in his book, but we have those tools available to us. Okay. In the essential fast track, you will shed unwanted pounds yes, that are hindering your health, your self image, your energy level, and even your ability to give your all to your family and the others dear to your heart. Think of the fast track as akin to a month of boot camp. It can be hard at times, but when you complete it, you will inc be incredibly proud of yourself, if not downright dazzled by your resolve. The first phase produces quick results that will encourage you to stay the course. All right, so this next part is, this book goes back and forth between Dr. Z and Sabrina. So this is Dr. Z here. The steps you're going to implement during the next 30 days are somewhat restrictive and are going to require exceptional amount of self-control. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's Gen, uh, Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Whichever path you choose, you're going to need self-control. By doing that and doing it regularly, you will get into a much more empowered situation in which this increasingly habitual behavior means that food will not run your life. How many of you in here allow food to run your life? I know, like, I definitely do. I'm like, what are we going to eat? Um, it's and, and, and it can go both ways. It can be like unhealthy or or food can run your life in like trying to be like militant in following a certain plan. So, you know, either extreme could be unhealthy for your emotions. The fast track, like the essential lifestyle that follows, has eight components that work synergistically. Eight seems to be that special number. Ideally, you will do all of them from the get-go, but if that is too much, the first four are non-negotiable. You can then ease into the others. These are some of the other non-negotiables if you really want to do the boot camp. Okay, so here's some no-nos. No smoking. Here's your chance. If you've been smoking, now's your chance to stop. No alcohol, including wine. No fruit juice. Occasional vegetable juice is okay. No dairy. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. Y'all, you know, we have little dairy goats out in the backyard, right? Like I'm not currently milking goats, but we have a freezer full of goat milk. So no dairy is huge for us. No conventional grains. No wheat, rye, barley, spelt, and anything containing gluten. No bread, not even gluten-free bread. No sweets, no sugar, no artificial sugars, meaning diet products. If you're drinking diet sodas, now is <coughs> the time to get rid of those too. Um, goes into some other things about the sweets. Here's a big one for me, no chips. I love me some chips. No chips, no fried food, especially no junk food. No energy drinks, no soda, and no coffee. No coffee. We'll see. No going, coffee. going tea in the morning. Tea. Okay. And then finally in this list, no meat or poultry. <laughs> he he about fell out on the floor and I was like, yes. No meat and no poultry. I'm a carnivore. I could just eat meat and that's it and be perfectly happy. But 
It's true. We're going to try it. It's so true. We need to make some changes. Yeah. So, note that this is a pure boot camp experience filled with fruits, veggies, legumes, and small portions of ancient grains designed to give you your optimal results in the shortest time possible. Did you hear another young living like aha in that? Ancient grains, small amounts of einkorn. So einkorn berries, they were out of stock the last time I looked, but hopefully they'll be in stock soon and we'll have some einkorn recipes to share with you. So beyond the no-nos, as we've said many times, we want to offer you a lot of variety. You're going to create your own approach. Um, much like reading um, a choose your own adventure book, or as we call it, personalize your program, we must remind you that in some cases, the choices you will make will impact how quickly you lose weight or how much weight you lose. But again, it's up to you. So he is allowing you to customize your program. There are some definite no-nos, like we said, and we're going to talk about eight essential habits. These eight essential habits is kind of the core of this program. And the first 30 days is much more restrictive than the next 30 days. For example, I can go back to my organic corn chips and fresh salsa in the second 30 days, but I just can't have them right now. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the eight essential habits. And as we're going, you guys look, no way, Natalie. Oh, I bet that was on the sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Shannon says, oh, reel me back in. I seriously want to say peace out when I heard no coffee. <laughs> Kelly, ask about Ningxia. Kelly, Dr. Z has an opinion about supplements. And he says, unless you're like prescribed by a doctor, you should get off of everything. However, we are prescribed by our natural path to take a lot of different supplements. And so we are choosing to stay on Ninja Red. It's how we get our mineral essence in every day. It's how we get our mind wise in every day. So that's a great question. Thank you for asking. And yes, I plan on continuing to do Ninja Red. Those are some of the things that you're going to personalize. You may say, nope, I'm militant going by the book. I'm not going to have any sugar. Although those are fruit sugars and a little bit of stevia in Ninja Red. Um, she, he did say no fruit juice. So, um, yeah, if you're uh, a high green personality and you're like a rule follower, I tend to be a rule follower. Paul is a rule breaker. Um, so there's a, you know, challenge there sometimes. Um, so I am more following the book but I know that what my body needs and I crave Ninja Red. So I'm not getting off some of that stuff. All right, so the eight essential habits. And if you're taking notes, great, but this is all in the book and it's on some of their PDFs. Um, oh, Natalie said that was on the meat. That, no. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Um, so yeah, like father, like daughter. Okay, number one, consume quality food or fuel. He says fuel. Food is your fuel. Eat lots of vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, and legumes. All are packed with bioactive compounds. And if you desire extra protein, stick with wild caught fish or organic cage free eggs. Occasionally enjoying protein rich grains such as quinoa and millet is okay, but no red meat, no poultry, and certainly no pork. Yeah. There's a lot in here about pork. I encourage no you to, to go read it. <laughs> Um, and it, it says you can personalize your program if you're vegan, then simply omit any animal products altogether. Number two, become a body in motion. Walk at least two miles a day or do some of the programs that Mama Z has written about on page 289. It's a great way to start. They're low impact. Things that you can build your reps on over time, build your weight on over time and grow into a program that's right for you. I know some people are starting off and they have almost no movement. And that is, that's where you're starting. You're right where you're supposed to be. So the next movement might be just to walk across the house 
or walk out to the mailbox and back. That would be huge for you. So just know your person, know your, your, yourself and what you can do. And of course, always talk to your, your health care provider on that kind of thing. What is number three? Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. As a Chinese proverb says, drinking a daily cup of tea will surely starve the apothecary. I love that. So drink plenty of filtered water, um, drink herbal teas, and matcha green tea, especially if you're a coffee drinker. Um, you can drink kombucha and smoothies. And we'll discuss in detail the proper hydration when you personalize your program on page 107. So you, you saw that hydration recipe for the water. If, you, if you're that type of person that says, I just can't even get my water in every day, do that recipe because it'll make it a lot more tasty for you to get down every day. Ultimately, most experts will agree that you need half your body weight in ounces of water every day. Um, now, I have heard him mention that you can use um, like a soda water. If you like a bubbly, maybe you're trying to come off of sodas for the first time. And a, um, a bubbly water would definitely help you with that. So um, number four, this is my favorite. What is that? Essential oils. Use, use them. Use essential oils. So he says these help control appetite, increase energy use, and actually melt body fat. Use oils in recipes, topical applications, and via inhalation. They're all great options. Best of all, explore all three. Chapter six is devoted to their use, and we give you a number of healing remedies um, in part three. So little, little um, tidbit here. This is one of the reasons why Dr. Z so wisely doesn't choose a company. Because when you join Young Living or doTERRA or any other company that has commissions based on it, then they fall under um, commercial speech and they can't say healing. They can't say melts body fat, but we can read from a book from a doctor who's not branded, who has freedom of speech and he can say whatever he wants. Okay. All right. So number five, my favorite, because I've tried to get her to do this and it's so hard to do when one spouse is doing it and one isn't intermittent fasting. Yep. Give your gut a much needed break, which is one reason why we advise against consuming red meat, poultry and pork. There it is y'all. That's why we're getting off of meat for right now. You can start by simply eating your last meal of the day around 7 PM and enjoying breakfast at least 12 hours later. It's called break fast for a reason. So they had to have a whole lot of ideas on intermittent fasting in his book on page 109. Don't you love that? Like you don't have to go buy a book on intermittent fasting. It's all in here. So we will most likely do that most days is we will eat before or around seven. And then we will not eat again until lunch the next day. Um, I tend to have a drop in blood sugar. I know there's oils for that. I'm definitely going to be testing those out for our, for us. And I will share my experiences with you. Um, sleek essence is one of those. Okatea, sleek essence does contain Okatea. Sleek tea has Okatea in it. So there's a lot of different things that we can use from Young Living that may help with some of those blood sugar spikes um, or drops. Okay, number six. Cleanse the colon. Cleanse the colon. All right, so you put stuff in, you got to have stuff going out. Cleansing the colon will enhance your gastrointestinal um, tract's ability to assist in weight management. Again, we offer several options, including with the use of gentle herbal tea that you can drink before bed. You can customize that on page 111. It'll talk more about colon cleansing. Um, he does recommend col colon hydrotherapy, which I, we've both done before in the past. It's very therapeutic. Um, you guys, if you're in my group, the co-op, then you know we did a fall colon cleanse. Young Living has a ton of different things um, that are options for you, depending on where you are on your colon health. Um, ultimately, you need to be going preferably at least once a day, but the best is three times a day. About 10 to 15 minutes after you eat a meal, you should be going. And it should be, it should exit quickly. You shouldn't have to struggle and it should float in the toilet. Poop talk. <laughs> we, we talk about poop a lot. So, um, you, you definitely want to make sure that you're moving in the right direction on this whole colon thing, no pun intended. But 
Um, cold, uh, the Comfort Tone is awesome for that. ICP came back into stock a couple of weeks ago. That's amazing. Just simply using your Digize and Peppermint around your belly and doing a massage on your belly can help get things moving in the right direction. So definitely pay attention to what you're doing with your colon health. Number seven. Get plenty of sleep. And that's where essential oils really play a role. I mean, the, the peace and calming, the lavender, different oils really help get your sleep in. For sure. So um, if you're having trouble sleeping, definitely explore, try different things. Sleep essence, we love that. Um, and you want to get a good eight hours or more. Um, one of the things we love the most about our being able to work from home and not have to, to report to a, a job outside the home is that we don't set an alarm. We've just let our body sleep till it's done. And my normal wake up time is about seven 30. Um, sometimes a little earlier, sometimes a little later, but we are starting our 21 days of prayer and fasting with church of the Highlands. And so we do that at 6 AM starting tomorrow morning. And we've got to get our walking in. So I obviously have to get out of the bed earlier to get all this stuff done before I come into the office and work. So, all right. And number eight. Spend time in the sun. If possible, get at least 20 minutes of sun exposure every day. If you live in a climate where this is not possible, supplement with vitamin D. Um, now, he does have, he goes into some recommendations on page 113 on that. Young Living does not have a separate vitamin D. Hoping that someday we will. Um, but there are um, thoughts on taking vitamin K with vitamin D for absorption. So just do your Googling. And if you have anything to look, Kent's all excited about intermittent fasting. Yes. Girl, I can't do one hour a day. I can't that. do yours. She, but She has one hour window. No. She's <laughs> talking about militant. Yeah, she's got that. 816s and is pretty tough. And yeah. I've seen some great benefits from that. But yes, 123. Mm -mm. So. This is a meal plan, and this is our meal plan for this first seven days. And I'm just going to follow the meal plan because it's easy. It's done for me, and all I have to do is, like, I made a grocery list, and we went to all the grocery stores today. We started at Costco. And Aldi. And Aldi. I love Aldi. Um, Aldi was, all the stores were kind of low on inventory. I think they just haven't bounced back from the holidays, but um, pretty much got everything I needed except for tahini. Mama Z has a fantastic recipe for your own hummus and it's super simple. I mean, you drain a can of garbanzo or chickpeas, garbanzo, garbanzo beans or chickpeas, whatever you want to call them. And it's got um, tahini in it and some fresh lemon, I believe, but that's a snack you can have on this plan, even on the strict part with um, cut veggies. And so I want to make that. And I went to four grocery stores and Alabaster does not have tahini. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to have to go to Sprouts or Whole Foods or um, Trader Joe's or just Order it. Amazon it. Amazon it. So, um, so some of the ideas of the, the things here, there's a greens and herbs om omelet. It's an egg omelet with, Lots of different salad greens and herbs. And you can use the dairy-free cheese in it if you want to use cheese. There's an avocado egg salad, a kale and lentil soup. Um, there's lots of smoothies. There's a slow cooker uh, lasagna. And, of course, your noodles are made with eggplant or zucchini strips. I'm going to do zucchini. There's a south-of-the-border casserole. I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, tomato bisque. There's her coleslaw, uh, garden fresh quinoa, bok choy su uh, <clears throat> supper stu stir fry. I got some bok choy today, <laughs> and the girl at the register is like, "What is that?" And I said, "Well, it's called bok choy, and it's like a cabbage, and we'll see. I've never made it before, but yeah. So um, I love that the recipes are in here because it takes the guesswork out. There's a lot of prepping tips in the book." Um, and in their videos, especially for those of us who travel or who go to work and you need to pack a lunch so you're not caught at lunch going, I'm starving and I'm on this food thing. And now I don't know, I didn't bring my lunch. So now I've got to figure out where to go. And so he does, he even has like um, information on his opinion on some of the 
local restaurants that you might be able to go to and choose something smart. So um, I have a surprise for you. Um, I Because I'm in Dr. Z's group and I have been talking to his personal assistant and told them, I said, look, we started this group. We're going to lead some people through the book. We're so excited. Um, and I, I let them know. I said, you know, first two and a half hours, we had a hundred people who said yes to this, this fun thing. And so, um, he sent me a friend request and he's been private messaging me on Facebook and he has offered to come and do a live video here. And not just once, he said, I'm available for y'all for whatever you need. He says he loves young living people. He loves the leaders. He loves to network with us. And so Dr. Z is going to be live in the group very soon. I don't know a schedule yet. We're supposed to talk on the phone tomorrow. Um, so I'll let you know. Um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I just feel so good about this program. I feel so good about leading you guys through um, having a refresher course for a lot of us on this essential lifestyles, what he calls it, what I call it. It's the way we should all be living for optimal health. If you're dealing with chronic disease, if you're dealing with um, temporary type things going on, or maybe you're just trying to get off your blood pressure medicine and your cholesterol medicine, you will be mind blown about changing your diet and following the way God made our food and eat that way than being able to do what man says you should do. And I'm not bashing any doctors because there are some smart guys out there. Um, one of my favorite doctors to follow is Dr. Mark Hyman. He's written um, books on sugar, books on brain. He has um, done the two different um, seasons of The Broken Brain. There's eight different episodes in each one of those. Um, he and Dr. Z are buddies. And Dr. Z has been an expert person in some of those um, documentaries. So I'm just so excited to have this tool available to us to be able to use it, to adopt it, to do the things that we feel comfortable with, to make it our own, to personalize it. It's not a fad. It's not something that you're going, okay, I've got to completely eliminate this from my life for the rest of my life. Most of that is not in, you know, in this lifestyle. Yes, the first 30 days are strict, but then we'll talk later about what we're going to do the next 30 days and we'll celebrate it. And you might find that you need to lose more weight and you need to stay on that maintenance that second 30 days um, for a while maybe you need to stay on the fast track for a while i guarantee you we're going to lose weight like and it's going to fall off rapidly we posted our before pictures <laughs> and our weight and our measurements and that's vulnerable that's like spooky isn't it yes it is he's like i gotta do what <laughs> <laughs> i told him i said I need your buy-in on this. We've got to do it together. And he's all in. So we've got a plan and we're Absolutely. going to stick to it. And uh, so um, I hope you have your book. If you haven't gotten your book, let me remind you, go to the link. Kelly says, I'm jazzed. Can't you just see her saying that? She's yes. so excitable. <laughs> um, go to the link in the top. It uh, starts with UN233 and get registered so you can get those emails. You can get those He's got a ton of videos. I think some of them are on YouTube, but most of them you really have to go through like a password thing to get to them. And I totally respect that. I think that's great. He's done a whole lot of hard work and um, he does have some paid programs. But from what I've read, if you bought the book and you go and register on that site, you get a whole lot of value and access to more than this book. There's some essential oil classes. There's some non-toxic living classes, some things that you might want to add into what you're doing with Young Living. Um, but definitely go get registered and partner with people that you can believe in and you can trust. And I believe that Dr. Z is definitely one of those. So, all right. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, Sharon, Shannon Barron said she's been following Dr. Z for a while. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. He and Sabrina go live quite a bit too. Now they do have some very long videos, which we're not a fan of personally, because we just feel like you can just miss some content because you can't stay long enough to hear it all. But um, that's one reason why we keep ours shorter. 
Um, okay, well, I'm not seeing any questions. Um, going back through here. Oh, Carol Wilson. She has had an accident and she's bedridden and has her foot elevated because she's had surgery. So she can't walk. Mm. But maybe you can do some upper body. That's what she said. She's definitely going to do some upper body. That's good. Yeah, they have a weekly podcast. And we're starting ours back. And Dr. Z has agreed to be a guest on the Polishing My Life podcast. We kind of had to put it on the back burner through Black Friday and Cyber Monday and then the holidays. And then the kid was home from college. And then it's it's a busy time. Um, tomorrow's Natalie's birthday. So happy birthday to our oldest. She'll be 22. We're not that old. <sighs> Yes, we are. So everybody say happy birthday to Natalie. <laughs> okay. Well, we love you guys. And we are so glad that you're in here and that you're trusting us and that you're allowing us to lead you through this. I think it's going to be fantastic. I encourage you to do those measurements, do those photos, get yourself a journal. Let me just kind of pull this journal out. This is my journal that I've been keeping since May of last year. And it's tabbed up. I mean, y'all. And it's sparkly. And it's course. sparkly. Yeah, it's sparkly. Um, it is like full of scriptures and affirmations and um, lessons. All these things that I've been doing in this program with a, a business coach since May. And this is my heart. And so I'm going to do a journal for this um, program too. And I urge you to do one too. So that way you can put down your weight and your measurements and your favorite recipes and some tips and tricks you're learning from other people that you may not see in the book, but you saw on a video or you saw on a website or you saw in the group, you'll be able to have that journal and be able to flip back through and go, yay me, look what I have done. Look what God has done in my life. And then what? then you get to help other people because our whole why of what we do with young living and with this polishing my life and all of what we do is that we firmly believe that because America is the most obese, um, most unhappy pill addicted, sick nation in the world, it's our responsibility to help those people. And we also believe that when Christians are created or when people are created for a purpose and maybe you're a Christian, maybe you're in another faith, whatever your purpose is, you want to step out in that. But if you're what the, what the documentary says, fat, sick, and nearly dead, you can't serve your purpose. And so there are, are millions of people out there who can't do what God created them to do and be because they are sick. And they don't have to be. There are ways out. There are ways around it. And I believe that we have a lot of those answers with learning these things that's in the book, what we know from Young Living, Toxic Free Living. We keep doing what we do so that we can teach other people how to live a better life. And they can then not be sick and tired anymore. They can go and be who God created them to be. It would be such a more wonderful world, especially here in America. Kindness non-judgment, love, acceptance, so much, so much fruit of the spirit when people are living a healthier life. Because let's face it, when you're sick and tired, you don't feel like doing anything. So let's keep people from being that way. So when you have results, then you're going to be telling people about it. Um, I started telling people about what was going on with us and we never thought, oh, let's just do Young Living as a business. It just happened to us. And it was through sharing what was happening to us through what we were learning to do. So you may not want to be a young living business builder and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Totally fine. But maybe you want to get your stuff paid for every month, your essential rewards order. Wouldn't it be nice to get a check in the mail that covered a 300 PV order every month? I mean, I'd love to have free oils and all of the things free and never have to worry about it again and be able to live that life even more healthy and give it away. Give it away to people who can't afford it. Give it away to the people who need that in their life. And the abundance that it's brought us has been able to allow us to give even more too. So it is a big deal to be able to take care of yourself. It's the only person you're going to get. It's the only body you're going to have. 
and it's more than just food. It's the toxins. It's all kinds of things, but we're going to be covering it in this book. So, all right. If you've got some people to add to the group, please get them added. Um, we would love for you to use the Google form, which the link is up there at the top of the, of this um, post. Um, the reason why is that captures some information that we'll be able to use as we move forward in serving everyone's needs. And so have them fill out that Google form. That would be awesome. Share anything you want out of here, copy, paste, download, whatever. Um, share it wherever you want to. This is open. It's not an open group. It is approval, but um, it, you don't have to have a Young Living membership to be in this group. Unlike some of our other team groups, um, you have to have a membership. So anybody can get in here. And after this challenge, who knows what's going to be on the table? Only God knows, but we will, we will see what is next. I mean, definitely the whole Polishing My Life platform is to um, continue the story. And people come in at different places, and we start all over, rinse and repeat, as Sarah Hanish says. So anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much. And I will talk to y'all later. Oh, look, Brandy just joined. Brandy, you'll have to stop and watch the replay. Love you. See y'all later.